tea, crumpets, and formal engagement plans. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry visit Queen at Buckingham Palace. Will Prince Harry and Meghan Markle soon announce their engagement and perhaps even their wedding date? News that the happy couple took tea with the Queen last week as royal insiders predicting that it is imminent that the palace will soon make a formal engagement announcement. Last Thursday at approximately 5 p.m. London time, Harry and Meghan arrived to Buckingham Palace to take afternoon tea with the Queen. Arriving in a vehicle with darkened windows, the couple was quietly ushered into the Queen's private sitting room. A room with a view, accessed by an elevator, it overlooks the pretty palace gardens, as well as Constitution Hill. The Daily Mail reported that everything was deliberately informal in order to make it more comfortable and low-key for the suit's actress. This is the normal time of day that Queen Elizabeth takes her tea. Although she normally only takes a half hour for tea, the couple stayed for an hour. What did they dine on? Normally, the Queen will enjoy sipping her special blend of dirtling or SMT along with noshing on some finger food. According to the Independent, who spoke to the Queen's former chef, Darren McGrady, she usually enjoys finger sandwiches such as cucumber, smoked salmon, egg and mayonnaise, or ham, with mustard. Concerned with how many carbs she intakes, Queen Elizabeth usually has the crusts removed to save calories. There is also a sweet component to her afternoon tea that includes McVitie's rich tea biscuits, scones and cakes, her favorite being honey and cream sponge, ginger, fruit and the chocolate biscuit cake which was served at William and Kate's wedding. What do the besotted prince and his lady love talk about with the queen? Insiders believe that since Harry reportedly first introduced Meghan to his grandmother at Balmoral, this afternoon tea meeting was more about their engagement and wedding details. Perhaps they are trying out the chocolate biscuit cake for their own wedding? Obviously, this was an important date for the Queen, as just two days before this special tea with her grandson and his American actress, the Queen returned from her extended summer holiday at Balmoral, in Scotland. According to insiders, Prince Philip has recently been spending his time at Sandringham. While at Balmoral over the summer, Harry formally asked his grandmother for this afternoon tea meeting. Allegedly, Harry's immediate family has been very upbeat about his lady love. The Daily Mail reports that Prince Charles was very impressed when he met the Suits actress. In addition, the Duchess of Cornwall reportedly told a member of staff that the actress was a very nice girl and very pleasant. Prince William has kept a poker face when asked about engagement news. For the past few weeks, the couple has been quite busy since making their first formal appearance together at the Invictus Games. They have reportedly been looking for a home in the Cotswolds as well as making other plans for their future life together. This includes Markle leaving her suit's job, which indicates she is preparing for a move to London. It is assumed that they have also made wedding plans as well. Currently, Markle has returned to Toronto and is back to playing Rachel's Inn, and on Wednesday, Prince Harry joined Prince William and Kate Middleton at the West Ham Stadium in London, at the Coach Corps event.